from a bygone era of elaborate turn-based RPGs, spawning generations of some of the most iconic games in history, comes a supersized ROM through the Mushroom Kingdom that could have used a bit more creative license on the name, Super Mario RPG. Relive the golden years of video games, at least in the eyes of retro gaming nerds on Reddit, when consoles didn't require internet connections, and games just needed some old-fashioned mouth-to-mouth to get going. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Then, experience a Mario game like none other before it, mostly because you got to see Mario in more than one dimension, if you don't count the only real Mario movie that is. Look, I don't care what anybody says, Dennis Hopper Bowser is a legend. Where's my pizza? As Nintendo hands off their Italian stallion to the godfather of turn-based RPGs, adopting the look and mechanics of Final Fantasy, combined with the charm of Mario, to create a love child between Nintendo and Square, but not one you want to hide in a basement. Look, all I'm saying is, the last time they had a collab like this, it was with the Rabbids. I mean, yeah, it's fun and all, but I wouldn't open the cage and bring him to the family reunions. Jump into another Mario adventure that starts as it usually does, rescuing the princess from Bowser until their usual routine is crashed by a gigantic sword, jettisoning everyone out of the castle. Then gather a rogues gallery of licensed Nintendo characters, like a cloud with an identity crisis, a gunslinging puppet that would put Liza P to shame, a version of Princess Peach who wants to help save her kingdom but mostly just seemed bored, and the big bad boss himself, because he's clearly more worried about losing his property than chasing Prince's tail. Ugh. Even the Mushroom Kingdom is having a housing crisis. I mean, look at Mario's pad. He saves the princess on a bi-weekly basis and all he can afford is a shack? Then gather your party of intrepid adventurers to face the Smithy Gang as you square off against a bunch of wacky sentient weapons that all mostly look like Clippy if he was a prison shiv. In hopes of collecting all the stars and bringing wishes back to the Mushroom Kingdom in a wacky Final Fantasy coded adventure that might not have all the usual horrors of war stuff, but still has that world ending existential crisis you love. Now, if you'll all excuse me, I'll be where I always am during an impending apocalypse in Square Games. At the races! Come on, Yoshi baby, Daddy needs those sweet cookies! Slam like you mean it in Mario RPG's mechanics that takes the usual choice-based combat and adds a little twist, punishing your piss-poor timing as inputs are added to give the usual monotonous cycle of turn-based combat a little je ne sais quoi that will have you timing attacks, specials, and defensive moves, turning the tides of battle wildly, depending on how well you can smash those buttons, as you feel a rush of oxytocin every time you get the timing just right, and like a total bee when you don't. Then sprinkle in mana management and Chrono Trigger triple attack, Frankensteining it into one of the most satisfying RPGs you'll ever play. In a battle system you'll be surprised to find still holds up even after all these years, and age rapidly every time you hear a kid say, Hey, this is like Sea of Stars! Take a break from stomping on the wildlife and throw yourself into the mini games, lovingly recreated for the modern era but still just as infuriating as they've always been, as you relive the trauma of watching yourself get swept away, getting rolled over by barrels, guessing the wrong hand, absolutely eating shit in the Donkey Kong minecarts knockoff, and trying to platform with a game that's, like, really not about that. In many games, you thought it would be easier now that you've fully grown all your brain cells, only to discover that the opposite is true. I mean, don't get me wrong, I still enjoy them and all, but the realization that I'm just as unskilled as my 10-year-old self is still something I'm going to need to work through in therapy. So toss that chomp chain and chug those froggy drinks for a blast from the past that you'll enjoy playing again after all these years, not only because of its timeless design, but also because, as much as you hate to admit it, you crave that sweet, sweet nostalgia. If nostalgia was a drug, Nintendo and Square would have a body count higher than Pablo Escobar and the CIA combined. Now just remake FF6 so I can live in a catatonic state of the 1990s forever. Starring White Man Can Jump, 
Prepubescent, Stay Puffed Man, The Wicker Boy, Pink Mage, On Zillow Bowser, The Wario You Ordered From Wish, Rule 34 Iago, Hoshi, A Total Tool, and just a straight up FF boss, Fungal Fantasy. Now that we have this great remake, we should demand the Nintendo hears from the coalition of Geno stands and put him into Smash already. We will not be silenced, and our good puppet boy will be immortalized. There are dozens of us. Dozens! Comment below on what you want to hear in my epic voice and check out these other epic gaming videos on GameSpot. It did not have to be this way, my son. Remember, there's no I in multiplayer, but there's always you who screwed up for the team. I was a teenage exocolonist. Only those who have seen Kirby have seen the true power. I'm not a thief. I'm a treasure hunter.